Okay, Brian Hummel here. I want to highlight some road infrastructure. First of all, the water obviously came up and over the road, and obviously these bollards act like a filter to filter large woody debris out of the river. So when it filters large woody debris, it makes a filter. And this filter then gets clogged by smaller woody debris and cedar needles and oak leaves and acorns and all sorts of good stuff. It also slows the water down, and when you slow the water down, you build up soil. So this is sand out of the river. I'm positive that the sand was not there because this I'm in the middle of a road. But there's sand here because we slowed the water down. So let's talk about slowing the water down. If you're on the side of the if you're on the side of the river where you take all the vegetation away, there's nothing to slow the water down. So the water rushes through here, it pulls your soil away, so you're left with nothing and it, you're left with the moonscape. So that side of the river is actually getting eaten away and the water just funnels off there so fast it rockets off that landscape. Whereas if you focus on the other side of the river, the other side of the river with all the vegetation, even though it might not look as pretty to most people, that all that vegetation leaning over is slowing the water down, it's spreading the water out, it's catching the sediments like we just saw up on top of the road, but that water doesn't have nearly the amount of force or the speed. This side of the water, the water is rocketing down the river. And now what happens if that rocketing water hits a bridge? When that rocketing water hits a bridge, it rockets right through it. And you're left with sheer, total devastation and millions of dollars to redo infrastructure. So keeping our riparian areas healthy actually is what helps keep our roads and bridges intact. It keeps our infrastructure there and keeps our rivers healthy. And I'm going to walk down and point out some springs. When you slow the water down into the uplands, the riparian sponge absorbs a lot of that flood and you re-release it back to the river. So instead of having a really massive and highly destructive knocking bridges out and washing homes away 24-hour flood, you can have water released for 24 weeks, maybe even 24 months, and possibly 24 years back into this river system. So catch the flood way up in the uplands, turn it into aquifer recharge, and provide spring flow to your rivers in times of drought. So watch these. I've got about five gallons a minute of water coming out of this, this land sponge, this riparian sponge leaking water. It's leaking water. It's leaking water. The whole hillside is leaking water. And that's water that you caught up there that didn't rocket through here like a like a rocket strong enough to pull a bridge off of its foundations. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please watch more of my videos and help me spread the word on healthy riparian uh, management and all the beautiful ecosystem services that a healthy riparian system provides. And remember, healthy uplands make healthy rivers.